Hey everybody, it's just Gareth here. So uh, today it's just going to show you a quick accessibility feature uh, on the iPad. So the iPad comes with a number of accessibility features and I'm going to do some short videos on them. And the first one I'm going to do today is about Zoom. So let's get into it. So basically I'm going to go back and I'm going to go into settings. So in settings, you find your uh, accessibility features depending on the age of your iPad and what operating system you're using. So you have an older iPad, you'll find them in general and you go down and scroll for them. But I've got a newer iPad, so they've got a tab of their own. So in settings, accessibility, you will see all the accessibility features on the right hand side. So there's ones to do with vision, hearing, uh, general general ones and uh, physical and motor, sort of things like keyboards and voice control, things like that. The one we're gonna look at today is Zoom. So what you would do is you click on Zoom and it'll tell you a few little double tap features and things like that, a few gestures they're called. Uh, in which you can access Zoom. So it it magnifies the entire screen, okay? So what you do is you make sure it's turned on and then go back and it's done with a three finger gesture. So you just tap three fingers on the screen with the gestures along with a three finger tap, you can you have to use your three fingers to navigate around the screen or as it doesn't move. So you take your three fingers to navigate around if you're not using the cursor, which we'll get into in a moment. Uh, the other thing is you can zoom your three fingers by tapping three fingers and then dragging that, your three fingers up and down the screen alters how far in you actually zoom. Okay. So it's a three finger tap. We get this over here, and then you can zoom it in and zoom out. So one, two, three, zoom in, one, two, three, zoom out. Okay. And also within this area, we have one, two, three. You can choose the feature, invert it, have a window zoom, which is just a window area. You can you can pin and move that area around, a bit like a magnifying glass. And you see it's inverted within there. Oh. Uh, have it as a full or a pinned zoom. So you can have a pin it at the top or pin it at the bottom. At the right. Again, you can change the features, low light one. So if you end up with a bright light and you want to dull the screen slightly, you can do that. I'll turn them off. And then you can have like a little control area there we can move around. So you can use the access there. Three fingers, turns it on, and then you can I like to have this at the side where you can direct your way around, otherwise you could just use your fingers to direct around, which can be a bit awkward. And you can change the level of zoom as well with your three fingers selection. Uh, and controller, like I say, zoom out. And that's all found, settings, accessibility features, and then you can change the maximum level of zoom. And then you can change the region and things in here as well beforehand, before setting it up so it's however you like. But you can always get into that little menu by the three finger tap. That's the zoom feature for you. And uh, what I'll do next time is I'll break them all down to bite sized chunks and we'll have a look at other accessibility features uh, on the iPad. Okay, thanks for listening. I'll see you all next time. Bye bye.